Hey guys, I wanted to show you what I picked up for my wife for Valentine's Day. It's something she's always wanted and she's super excited about. Here it is. 1963 Shasta Starflight. Sixteen feet long, pretty original, all the windows are intact, all the windows still open and close. Got a little issue with our uh, jack in the front, need to take that apart and figure out what's going on with it. Um, doesn't look like this ever been painted, that's probably in its future. We've got... Um, Little, oh, this is really cool. This is how you fill the water tank. This little guy here. Open that up. And dump the water in there. Isn't that cool? Just a little cap for that. And down here is where the sink would drain. I guess you'd have a hose and a bucket or a hose and a jug on the bottom, on the ground there. And we got like a power in. I don't know if this is original or not. A little place where you can hook up your shore power, power some lights. It also has all the original little teardrop marker lights. Amber ones up front, and then the clear ones here in the back. That was kind of cool. And of course the wings, which are aftermarket, but original. So this trailer would have had them, but those are uh, newer aftermarket ones. Haven't tried to open the doors yet, but I do have a set of keys for it. Body's in great shape. I haven't found hardly any dents. Few up front that need to be patched. The tail lights don't match, and I don't know which one's original or if either are original. But that's that's one. And the license plate bracket, I'm assuming that's original. And here's the other tail light. <coughs> it looks to be newer. I'm guessing this is the replacement, but not sure. And you can see where there used to be a sticker there. I think you can get those aftermarket still, so I might get a new sticker for it. Bumper's in great shape. Haven't backed into anything yet. Yet, because I might do that. You know, you got another wing on this side. This up here, we've got the actual cast Shasta logo on this side. I think they only had one. The only place I had found screw holes. I think the rest were stickers. Um, door's in pretty good shape. Step needs a little work. When I went to pick it up, the tires... Um, had completely rotted and split apart. So before we could even tow it home, had to jack it up, pull the wheels, and go get a set of tires. So it's got it's sitting on brand new tires. So the inside's all original. Nobody's been inside painting or anything. Um, previous owner started sanding some of the stuff. Yeah, I guess he's getting ready to refinish it. But uh, never never got that far before we had to give up on the project. It's got the magazine rack. Got like a little cubby area up here. Got a little, uh, little light hanging from the ceiling. Has them in, that needs to be reattached. I don't know if that's the original lamp or an aftermarket one. It's probably original. Uh, that'd be like a 110 lamp there. It's got little doors for the cubby. Uh, 110 light there and then a gas lamp here. So if you picture your uh, Coleman lantern, it's got a little mantle inside. You can kind of see it through the glass there. And a little knob, so this would be propane powered. I haven't fired it up yet, but he told me it works. And uh, I mean, if it's taking a Coleman lantern, it should just fire right up. There probably won't be any issues. So that's pretty cool to find that intact. Uh, let's see, we got the sink. And a little stove, and he did say the stove works. I haven't tried that yet. Sink seems to all be here. A little, uh, got some dirt in the sink, but it's all there. 
I haven't hooked it up the water to try any of that yet. Um, cabinetry is all there, intact. Needs to be uh, refinished. So that's looking pretty, pretty good. Front dining area. The seats are uh, are very original, but they can be reupholstered. Uh, they're really built stout. There's springs on the backside, a couple layers of uh, batting, and uh, some some uh, kind of cotton pad. It looks like on the top. So I'll probably have to take those to an upholstery shop and get those re-sewn. And uh, table, still original table. Probably gonna have to redo the tabletop though. I've got some uh, some screws coming through from the from the support leg underneath. So that'll probably get redone. Let's see. Moving on to the back, we got the standard, the typical, like you always see, leaking around the vent. So. That's all been uh, sealed up on the top, but the damage on the inside is still here. So I'm going to have to tear this down and see how bad that is and what needs to be done to repair that. But the vent's all there, and uh, screens are on the vent. Screens are on all the windows. Um, so the back looks pretty good. I don't see any major water leak um, evidence back here. Um, I think a little bit under the window back there. So when I pull the window to reseal that, we'll get a good look at that and see if it uh, if we need to do more. The top bunk here um, actually slides out. Now I don't know originally how far it was supposed to slide out. This one slides all the way out to the window, making it just as big as the bottom bunk. Um, it looks like they've added on some strips here. So again, I don't know if this is, you know, these are, one of these is not original, probably one or both. And same on this side, this piece is not a factory piece. But it makes for a really large upper bunk. Um, we haven't, haven't decided what we're going to do with that yet. We, got, we, seem, we, have that, we seem to have an extra set of cushions, um, green. The camper was a yellow. Um, so anyways, from another set of dining room cushions and then the little couch in the back. This also pulls out flat to be a bed. It's kind of like a futon style with storage underneath. Let's come around this way. We've got a nice original mirror. It's losing some of its shine, but um, pretty cool that it's still there. Behind that is uh, it's kind of your closet area. So you got a little uh, coat rack up top. You hang some longer stuff on the left. And on the right is the ice box. So not a fridge but an actual ice box. We got a couple of little indoor things. Up top's where the ice would go. Pops open, pushes open a little bit more. A little spot there where you put your blocks of ice. Probably anything you want to keep really cold to put up there with the ice. And then underneath is a little fridge area. Looks like there used to be a shelf in there that's missing. And probably a drain tube in the back. I'm sure that just goes out underneath to drain any of the melting ice out. But that's pretty cool. I was, uh, kind of pleased to see that all still intact. And then the last thing I wanted to show you was the heater. So the heater's in the floor. So down here. And the previous owner did say they had some issues, but they couldn't get the heater lit. So I'm going to have to uh, experiment with that a little bit. It's propane. And uh, I'm gonna have to clean out some stuff and experiment with that, see if I can get it going. What's it say? I think it says uh, Carlson Trailer Furnace. I don't think there's a fan in this. I think it's just uh, heated tubes, like a radiator. It would heat up, probably from the propane blowing through it. So, anyways, um, I think that's about all we got for now. Um, yeah, I just wanted to show you the project, and I'll try to post some updates as time goes on, and so you can see kind of um, how it progresses. So the idea with this tra trailer was it was actually an accessory for the Impala. So the idea is it's going to sit behind the Impala and get towed around, and uh, i got to rig up a hitch for the Impala and figure out how that's all going to work, but uh, it looks pretty good behind it. I'll post some pictures of that too. 
Hey guys, I had a couple uh, follow-up questions for you. The first one is related to this uh, sink stove cabinet. So you notice here the stove is underneath the window on the left, sinks on the right. And it looks very original. It doesn't look like it's been tore out or replaced or changed. Um, cabinet above the sink, though, when I open this up, I don't remember what side it's on. There we go. There's a diagram up here that shows the sink on the left and the stove on the right. So I don't know, is it, were there different options? Could you have it custom configured or do they just kind of, it's like a mid-year revision to the plan? Anyways, a little confused about that, but it does look original, so I'm not gonna plan to change it. Everything's plumbed in good. It's not like they've moved any of the propane lines or water lines. And the other question I had too is around the stove. So it's, um. The trailer was a yellow. Maybe they didn't have a yellow stove. It's almost a gray, kind of a, well, no, I guess dark gray and light gray color stove. So I don't know if that's original or if this is just a one out of a similar trailer. It's called a Robershaw Flame Master. I don't know, something like that. Anyways, and then inside I had a question for you too. So in the oven, Underneath this tray is where the flame would shoot out. So we've got a thermal couple and we've got a, two uh, lines. I'm sure one is pilot and one's the main line. But is that all there is? Should there be some sort of uh, burner attached to it? It seems like I'm missing something. I haven't tried to light it. Um, but it seems like something should shoot the flame out, more out into the stove instead of just being here where the pilot light is. So anyways, if, if you know what I'm missing or if I'm not missing anything, um, let me know. I know there's like a little, uh, uh, where is it at? Yeah, right up top there is another um, probably temperature sensor for the, for the oven temperature. But anyways, um, curious if I'm missing something from my oven or not. I know he said the burners on top worked, but he didn't say anything about the oven. So anyways, those are a couple of questions I had for you. If you guys have any insight, um, comment below and let me know because uh, I'd like to know before I burn this thing down. All right. Thanks guys. That's all I got for now. I'll post more as I uh, start tearing into it if I have more questions as well. Thanks.